I've got a problem with this uh, I beam here. Uh, I want to take out that bend and then I got to replace that bent area <coughs> with a uh, angle iron or something uh, similar. Uh, this is quarter inch steel so it's actually stronger than it needs to be but uh, still I got to take out that bend. Um, I thought about using heat but I would have to heat the whole area where it's bent so I'm just going to cut it out, weld in pieces and that'll be done. way to determine where the bend is <clears throat> you got to take a straight edge hold it up here and then mark where it turns Okay, then you gotta take your square, make sure it's tight, then come down where your marks are. Alright, now you're gonna have to come over and mark this side over here. So take your square, do the same thing. Transfer it to this side. Okay, make another mark. <clears throat> now this is a watercolor pencil that I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, now I'm going to have to use this cut off, cut off wheel. Cutoff wheel is too small to get in here, so I'm going to have to change it. Okay, well, I got the one piece welded on there, and I'm going to add other pieces so that uh, it'll be okay. All right, I've got these pieces welded in. Uh, this is one piece, here's another one, here's another one, and then there's one on the other side. But I've just tacked them in. That's about it. <clears throat>
Okay, this is the piece that I cut out. It's uh, quite curved, it's also twisted, which makes it very difficult to match uh, something to replace this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Well, this is the piece that I cut out, very curved, so I want to choose a straight piece to replace it. So I got a measure here, it's uh, about 14, and I'm going to add 3 sixteenths to it. <clears throat> Now I had to buy this uh, spanner wrench, but I also made one right here. This one works okay, or this one, either one. This one has a little bit more leverage. Yeah, when you uh, <laughs> scrap all these, you kind of feel bad but uh, that's how it goes and then these are all uh, Blackhawk I've tried Milwaukee um, discs cut off discs and I have tried um, Makita uh, they all work about the same. Uh, this brand here is an off brand, but it works. There's a button over here to lock the head. Uh, most um, grinders like this, this is a 9 inch Milwaukee grinder, but this is a very old one, but somebody invented a shaft lock to lock the shaft when you're taking off when you're taking off these discs and, and uh, brushes and everything. Uh, this is my own um, welding table and it all it is is a piece of sheet metal. Uh, it's not even fastened down here um, and then you have to take a square or a straight edge of some kind and try to uh, align these pieces. So put your straight edge even with this piece and your piece of metal that you're replacing in the other position. And then just weld the two. Now I'm using a wire welder and it's a Forney. F-O-R-N-E-Y but any welder that's in good condition will work. I think I'm going to turn this over. Well, that side isn't straight. 
try to get all the chips, all the dirt, any debris at all, get it off of here. And then if I want to, I can just replace this piece of sheet metal.